Good morning guys, welcome back to another day of my life vlog as a corporate girly in New York City. If you are new here, my name is Cass, thank you so much for joining me. I specifically work in corporate events for an interior design magazine and there's a lot going on at work so I just want to bring you guys along my day, what a day today looks like. I literally just woke up and I didn't get to work out this morning because I woke up late and I went to sleep probably around 1 o'clock because I was doing my work, my social media management work, not my event job work. It's 6.45. If I work out, I'll wake up at 5.45. That was not the case today. I woke up at 6.30. So we're going straight to getting ready because I have to leave at 8.15. I'm doing my makeup on the floor in front of my mirror today just because I felt like switching it up and yeah, I don't know, it was just a nice change of pace and I had a bit more time to get ready today. I wanted to use a couple of new products into my routine that I didn't share yet. This is the Shades by Shan blush palette and this is the most pigmented blush I have ever tried in my entire life and I'm not even kidding. The colors in this palette are stunning and I love that it comes with a mirror. They're a small growing business, but they're also in JCPenney, which is phenomenal. This color right here, and I'm just going to dab it once. And look at all that pigment that came off. It's super pigmented. I'm just going to lightly go over. You can already see how much pigment <laughs> went on my cheek. Okay, I'm pretty sure it has a very light sheen. I'm not too sure, but... It's a really nice peachy color. Now I'm adding some highlight. This is my all-time favorite highlight at the moment. I fell in love with the Makeup by Mario Golden highlight. And it just looks so good on my skin tone. I don't know if people still use highlight nowadays, but I still do. I'm gonna go in with Patrick Ta, She's That Girl, and just take a tiny, tiny smidge of this and put this right over my highlight just to blend everything together and give it an extra pop of pink. Setting my face. If you don't use the setting spray, it is a must because it just melts all your makeup and it makes a powdery look go away so it looks a bit more natural and blended together. This is the Shades by Shan lip liner in the color Luna and it is such a pretty nude lip liner. I haven't used this one in a while so I'm excited. It's the Clarins in pink. Just a little bit more using the Tarte Tartlet Tubi Mascara. All right, this is the finished makeup look. I love how the blush turned out. I love a lot of blush because it just brings so much life to my face, but we're gonna pick up the outfit now. I've been getting a lot of new things from Abercrombie lately, so I'm really excited for today's outfit. Look at how cute and stunning this top is. It is a sweater top, and it's so, so soft. I wish you guys could feel it. And I got a size small. I will link this below. Hopefully they still have it because they just had a sale and a lot of these were sold out, but this one is navy and white, and I just love the contrast right here and the gold detailing. Hey guys, look at how cute this is. I'm obsessed. The sleeves are a little longer just because I'm short, so makes sense. This would be so cute with a light pair of jeans and boots, but I'm just gonna wear some slacks. I'm gonna throw on these trousers. These are the effortless pants from Aritzia. Okay, quickly drew my hair. This is my five minute hair hack. If you have a round brush, it doesn't have to be a Dyson because this is extreme. But if you have a round brush, just take one. You can use a Revlon one as well. That one's really good. I used to have that. I just take this. It's going to be really loud, by the way. So sorry in advance. And I drag it down. And I twist up. I twist And then you can see it leaves like a nice little ring curl. And then I'll do that to all of my hair and then I'll brush it out. Alright, and then after that's done, I just shake it out. And you have a nice simple blowout that took five minutes last but not least putting in my hoops from braca love these little dainty hoops i wear them every single day and they are not tarnished and it's been three years i put a lot of dry shampoo in my hair because it was pretty oily but i feel like it recovered because i have this is like day three hair and i have pretty oily hair so i think it looks pretty good but i had some time to get ready this morning so i wanted to just treat myself do my hair and yeah now i'm ready to go this is the final look of the day i have my dad coat from Abercrombie and then I also 
by the way. Cal pack bag. I feel like every vlog I have to mention this. Such a good work bag. I'll link it everything down below. And then this is the Aritzia Merino wool coat. And then underneath I have my outfit. It's 25 degrees outside. So I'll be wearing my gloves and my earmuffs as well. But let's head to work. Hey guys, I'm back from work and today was a very, very high stress level day, I will say. My makeup is like coming off my face at this point, but it's fine. We're working with it. We are prepping for a really big conference that's happening starting next week, Sunday. What is today? So today is February 21st. So next week, Thursday, I leave for California and we have the event from Sunday to Tuesday, I think. So Sunday to Tuesday, I'll be doing that. And then right after that, I go home for a week. And the following week, I'm traveling again. So there's a lot of things going on there. However, the thing that stressed me out today was the fact that we are starting, this big event didn't even happen yet. It's starting next week, but we're already starting the process for another big event that's like a week long in the summer however next week we're starting another full-blown outreach for an event that happens in may that's three days also i'm making egg drop soup which is my new comfort food so i just have some chicken broth and i put white pepper and salt and everything here is what it looks like here's a little soup it just has some egg in it but it's really nice and yummy and i just have some summer rolls that i got from a vietnamese restaurant so just having a little light dinner and then i have some work to do it's that kind of night guys showered washed my hair because the subway was just too nasty today did a face mask just because i'm breaking out this is a day of my life it was a great day don't get me wrong but I just feel my stress levels rising. There's a lot going on and we're not done. I have to do a few more things for my social media management client and then hopefully we can call it a night. Sometimes you just need to have a little self-care night even if it's the middle of the week. It's a great pick me up and I highly recommend it. All right, so I wanted to show you guys the supplements that I take every night. I don't think I've ever talked about this or mentioned this or showed what I use or what I take. But first things first, I take my vitamin C, I just take one of these. Next, I take two magnesium citrates and this just helps me fall asleep. Magnesium relaxes your muscle, so it's actually really great as well if you work out. Then I take my Ritual Symbiotic Plus. I was definitely influenced. I think I've been using this for almost a year now. I've been on their subscription. It is a bit pricey. This little bottle is $50, $54, something like that. It is a bit pricey. However, it's just easier to take one supplement than three so I really like this and I was influenced by a lot of youtubers that I watch on here that take ritual then I also take L-glutamine and this helps with bloating and digestion and then sometimes I also take cranberry extract just because on days that I don't drink water I will literally very TMI but I will be on the verge of getting a UTI and I take one of these cranberry pills and the next day I'm good to go chug a lot of water and you'll be set I do this every single night so this helps me fall sleep so i usually like to take this about an hour before i'm going to go to sleep and it's 10 o'clock right now so perfect timing and i'll take one uh, glutamine take one of the ritual vitamins or supplement one of that it smells like mint and then lastly i'll take one vitamin c and these are all the supplements that I take every night. Also, I forgot to mention, I'm not telling you guys to take these supplements. I'm just telling you what I've been doing for the past year, what works for me. Of course, if you're not sure if something's gonna work for you, you can ask a doctor and get professional opinions, but this is just what has been working for me and I just wanted to share. The last thing I wanted to show you guys is this hand cream by Fenty Beauty or Fenty Skin. I bought this a while ago and totally forgot about it. This is the 
but it dropped whipped oil body cream and it is so so good my hands have been so dry because i wash them 10 million times a day so nice and creamy and it's thick so a little goes a long way and i always put this on the back of my hands just because i don't really like the feeling of lotion on the front of my hand so i focus it on the back i'm just someone that loves a good hand cream i'm not too too in love with the smell it smells like it has a little bit of a floral scent and i don't really like floral scents at all but it's bearable enough because i love the way that it feels i just want to share that because i've been using this every single night for the past month or so and it's amazing and i highly highly recommend it taking off my hair towel and i'm going to show you guys what products i use i just want to disclaim that i am not someone that has been into hair care for very long i kind of just do whatever but these are the products that i like this is the briogeo hair growth serum so i'll just take a little bit i use this on the edges right here because i feel like it's a little sparse i'll just run it through then i have the briogeo farewell leave-in conditioner if anyone else has tried this let me know how you like it i'll just take it and spray it now this product I actually really really like it is from a small business called Dancy Hair Care. It is their revitalizing anti-frizz hair serum, smooth shine seals, and it is a heat protectant. So I will link her down below. I highly recommend checking this brand out. She has so many different hair care products. A little goes a very long way, but this makes my hair feel so shiny. I'll take the tiniest bit and then I will actually focus this on my ends because it is a heat protectant. I just like to focus on the ends and then bring it up like this. When I use this product, I can actually tell a difference because I'll usually blow dry my hair, straighten my hair, curl it. This makes it so soft and shiny, so I love this. And the very last product that I use is the one and only, everyone uses this product, but I'm very late to the game. This is the Gizu honey hair infused oil. I believe that's what it's called. I feel like for me hair products all kind of work the same I feel like this makes it a little shinier a little softer and that is my hair care routine I will link everything down below. Obviously, I'm not gonna show this part But my next part of the night is going on my clients Instagram accounts. This usually takes about an hour and I will engage on everyone's posts I will do all the community management. So answering DMs comments going through their feed and engaging with people in there and then just getting ready for their post because they are in Hawaii. So they're right now they're five hours behind. Their posts usually go live between midnight to one o'clock. So I'm just making sure it's all set up to go. Sometimes Instagram fails to schedule any platform and it just makes my life a lot harder. Anyway, so I'll just spend the next hour doing that and then after that, I'm gonna read. And I've been really obsessed with it ends with us i'm almost done this is how much i have left and i started this book i would say i started on saturday and it's wednesday and i'm almost done i'm on page 291 though i got three more books from amazon because this is my third book of the month and i'm really proud of myself verity which is a bestseller had to try this one reminders of him and then of course it starts with us which is a sequel of it ends with us so really excited i'm gonna get to work so i can read